Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Come back to Sahara Football. The weekend is upon us and so much footballing action to look forward to. And today I'm giving you updates in the world of African football as I usually do most of the time. I'll be talking to you today about the African Cup of Nations 2023. We all know the African Cup of Nations takes place biannually and every two years we host the tournament. In 2023, we'll have an African Cup of Nations. But side note here is in 2022, between December and November 22nd to December 18th, we will be having the World Cup. And the African Cup of Nations, if we are following the usual format, will be played in January of 2023. Yeah, that will take a toll on so many players who are applying their trade in and around the continent, across the world, they play their football. So because of that, the African Cup of Nations will be shifted and I'll be revealing the dates to you today. We're also going to talk about a name, Matthew Kujo. He has made it quite clear that he wants to play for the Black Stars at some point in his career. When he wants to play for them, take this, he says he wants to play for them, make his debut for the Black Stars before he turns 17 years. This is someone who is 16 years of age and it is something that is really interesting to note. I'll be telling you more about what he said and how he hopes to achieve it. And yesterday I brought you the story of Kudus Mohammed. He had made the amazing move from North Zealand in Denmark into Ajax a team in the Netherlands. Amazing move for him. Amazing comments coming through from some players. I'll be giving you the thoughts of Jonathan Mensah and Mubarak Wakas who congratulated the Ghanaian for that amazing Move. as usual if you are new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more so without much ado let's jump right into uh, the matters available so we all know afcon 2021 already in a limbo we haven't played our qualifying games 2020 has been a whirlwind and so many unfortunate things have brought a halt to how we do things how we operate how we even talk to each other sometimes now has changed over Video calls, which you usually didn't do, meetings are being held, and so many other things have changed. For football, which is a contact sport, we can't use that method. And CAF recently brought us updates as to when the various tournaments which were supposed to take part in 2020 will be played. AFCON 2021 was one of the games or one of the tournaments that was affected, and we sought to find the best way possible to execute this AFCON 2021. The release was brought out and it was decided that AFCON 2021, which was supposed to be held in January next year, would be shifted to 2022. Yeah, in January. So that was the agreement that was come upon. But once again, the AFCON is a tournament that is held every two years and if it's going to be held in 2021, 2023 would be the next date. And it became an issue because African Cup of Nations is taking takes place in January. It became an issue because of a certain World Cup which we have in the same year of 2022. The World Cup will take place in Qatar in the winter. Yes, you heard me right. November 22nd to December 18th. So because of that, immediately after the World Cup in December, January will be having African Cup of Nations. But that has changed however we are going to have the african cup of nations played between june and july the general secretary of the CAF, abdel bar now the timing of the competition has been the subject of speculation after the president ahmad stated in june it will take place in 2023 while preparing he did not know what month as of today the 2023 african cup of nations is planned for june july because it make it clear in the regulations we have decided to play all african cup of nations in june and july in 2017 have decided to schedule all future african cup of nations for these months enshrining the change in its uh, tournament regulations now the african cup of nations the next one will take place in january 2022 however owing to the unfortunate weather conditions in cameroon and june july when the host suffers some of the wettest months of the year now the african cup of nations is in cameroon after the request of the authorities 
was postponed to January, February as added by as of today we haven't received the same request from Ivorian authority given that Ivory Coast suffers its wettest month of the year in June such a request should not be ruled out move to earlier earlier dates in 2023 would be difficult as the 2022 World Cup would be played between 21st November and 18th December for the nation's cup in early 2022 and mid 2023 the 2022 world cup it means some of the africa's leaders footballers could play three major tournaments in the space of 18 months that's wow i think this is unprecedented three major tournaments in three months covid 19 has really really bothered us and i can't wait for it to all be over and things returning to normalcy the english premier league are thinking of bringing fans back to the stadium and boris johnson has announced as much saying they can come back in october and it's, it's going to be interesting to see how that is implemented social distancing the new buzzword for everyone how are we going to combat this virus without social distancing that's another story for another day but quite clearly we are going to see a few changes in the world and three tournaments in 18 months for some players including Sadio Mane, Mohamed Salah who play at the top level of football. Now to my next story it has to do with Matthew Kujo the youngster who has been featuring in the just ended Ghana Premier League season that was cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now Matthew Kujo has a lot of ambitions as any youngster would and dreams as any youngster should. He says that he wants to play for the Black Stars before he turns 17. Now, the youngster who plays for Kumasi Asante Kotoko, Matthew Enikujo, has set his sights on making a Black Stars debut before he turns 17. Now, Kujo became fans' favorite in Kotoko in the scrapped Ghana Premier League season. According to the talented winger, he wants to play for the national team as soon as possible, as his quest to become one of the youngest players to feature in the black stars is yet to be in in an interview he said i want to make a difference with the black stars and i am patiently waiting for the opportunity to showcase my talent i know it will happen soon i'm waiting for the day the national team coach would present to me an opportunity to excel he said and in kujo has already played for the national and that 20 team prick of the African Games in Rabat, Morocco, and was a revelation in that uh, league. Uh, I, I'm so happy for Matthew and Yinkujo. As any youngster, you should have dreams, and those dreams will propel you. So many plans have to put in place to make your dreams work. I'm happy he is trying to make his dreams work. Unfortunate for him that the Ghana Premier League season has been cancelled. He had been having an amazing time with Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Maxwell but surely the league will return and we will have things back to normal we will get through this i hope you guys know that we'll get through this things will always be like this uh, to my final story and it's about the man who has been trending all over social media kudus muhammad mubarakwa castle and jonathan mensa have sought to congratulate him for his amazing move from north Shelland to ajax it's a great move from Kudus Mohammed. I think this is where the work begins for such a player. 19 years of age, playing for Ajax, will be playing in the Champions League next season. I just can't wait to see him in action. I'm really pumped up by this guy. He's, his clips, I've seen his matches. I haven't watched a full match of him, however. But he was a substitute in the Ghana's game against South Africa in AFCON 2021 qualifier. He scored on his debut and this guy the sky really should be the starting point for him he can go places where he thought ne never thought possible congrats bro kudus muhammad more to show up inshallah wish you good luck but we'll still beat you on playstation that was from mubarak wakasu to kudus muhammad jonathan mesa also met, sent out a message saying ghana proud keep shining young man at kudus Mohammed. So it's quite clear that a lot of the players are happy about Kudus Mohammed's move to Ajax from Denmark in North Zealand in Denmark. And I am personally excited. I'll bring you each and every update on the guy 
and how well he has been doing for Ajax. I will let you guys know and I'll keep you posted. So many congratulations messages coming from top top players, namely Jonathan Mensa and Mubarak Kwaka. So that has been it for today. AFCON 2023 will be played between June and July. The World Cup will be played in December and in December and African players to go in and play in January will be quite unfair. This means that in three tournaments will be played within the space of 18 months by the same crop of players. Wow, that must be tiring. We've also been talking about Enim Kujo Matthew. He says he wants to play for the Black Stars before he turns 17. And congratulatory messages coming in for Kudus Mohammed after he completed his move to Ajax. Let me know what you think in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.